we talk about the fact that our face and our hair is snatched. Yes, I said it, snatched. <laughs> What's up beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. Alexis Kimberly here. If this is your first time here, welcome and I'm so excited to see you here. In today's video, we are doing a quick tutorial on how I get my slick down look like slick down bun. What is this? It's a slick down bun. Um, that I literally do in 10 minutes and it's this is a tutorial for the lazy girl for the lazy girl who has a mess of a hair in the morning and has some place to be at noon and has to just get her life together in an hour's notice and get out the door so if this sounds like you then you're gonna want to watch this video to see how I get my hair from a puff a matted mess to this slick down look right here. And as always, definitely subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. All right, so let's get started. Alrighty, so we are starting off with freshly co-washed hair. I've already added my leave-in conditioner to my hair, so we are ready to go. First thing we're gonna do is part the hair. I prefer a part that is somewhat off-center. I just think that it just gives it a little bit more flavor. So I part the hair off to the side and I do a slight curve just to make it a little bit more interesting. So I will take a little bit of time just to make sure that I get the part the way that I want it. And then I will just do a light detangle of my hair with a wide tooth comb just to make sure that my hair lays as flat as possible. Again, this is a tutorial for the lazy girl, so we are not like shooting for the stars or anything, but we just want to at least make sure that our strands are lay laying flat on top of each other, um, just to make sure that everything goes down smoothly. My goal is not to detangle my hair all the way through, although that would be an ideal circumstance. But since we are doing this in like 10 minutes or less, um, our goal is just to make sure that our hair is laying flat in the direction that we want it to go. Then I will take my Eco Styler gel. I use the one with argan oil and I will start to smooth down my hair starting at the part. And then I will use my soft bristle brush just to smooth that down. And since nothing's set in stone, I will just brush my hair and then clip it off to the side as I work onto another section. And since the left side of my hair is much fuller, since I did that off-center part, I will split that section, that left section in half and apply gel to the middle portion, brush that down, and then also apply it to the top portion and brush that down just to make sure that it is extra smooth and flat, giving it a more sleek appearance. Again, this top portion is really important to get flat, so I will just make sure, again, that I do a light detangling of that section just to make sure that the strands are laying flat on top of each other so that I can make sure that everything lays smoothly. For the back portion, I mean, there's so much hair back there. Like, if you're in a rush, there's just no way that you're going to be able to part your hair into smaller sections to do it that way. Um, I mean, ideally, in an ideal world, going through section by section and parting the hair, putting gel on it, you know, combing it through, making sure it's super flat is definitely ideal. But when you are on time constraints, which I am like 75% of the time, 
Um, this is just what works for me. I will put the gel on top, on like the top layer of my hair, and I will make sure that it's flat by adding a scarf, which you'll see later on. I know right now it kind of looks stupid, like with my hair, some of it going in the back direction and some of it going off to the side. And in retrospect, I wish I had like combed that section more backwards to kind of cover over that like thin area that I have. But I mean, whatever. Um, it does actually end up working out because when I use the edge control just to smooth everything out, it kind of just like camouflages that little separation there. So definitely don't worry about that. But if you notice, the edge control just adds an extra level of sheen to the hair. And it also helps in creating the nice waves that you want when you do a look like this. Then I'll take the rat tail comb, the rat tail end, and just pull out some of my shorter pieces just to, you know, just to make it, I don't know, give it more personality. Adding gel to the back portion of my hair just to give it also a little bit more sheen and definition. Then I'll wrap the hair around the scrunchie to form a bun and then I take a scrunchie that is slightly looser that I can wrap around my bun a few times to make sure that it's stable and set. Next I'll go in with the Design Essentials Silk Essentials and it's just a really nice finishing oil to add to your hair just to add a little bit more moisture and sheen. Next, I will take my scarf and I will fold it over into a triangle so that I can wrap my hair with that. And then what I will also do is I will do a second knot with my scarf over the bun. Because when you do that, you flatten out the hair that goes into the bun as well. So you're just making sure that it's extra flat. And I will leave that on for about 10 minutes. And after that is set, then you have something that pretty much looks like this. Now, again, it's not like the sleekest of all sleek, like don't shoot me down, but if you're lazy like me and you're in a rush, this is a good way to get your hair to look sleek, professional, look cute if you are in a hurry. And then I will just, you know, touch up my edges a little bit, but for the most part, this is pretty much it. I hope you guys liked this really quick tutorial. Sometimes it's just really nice to just have really quick hair solutions when you're in a rush. So I hope that this was helpful for some of you guys. As always, subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. Until next time, guys, I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.